Um, so uh, last night I found a little like spot of blood in her diaper. It wasn't liquid though. It looked like a solid. To be honest, it kind of looked like a bloody booger. Is what it looked like. Um, and so I called the like 24-hour line of her pediatricians and. They asked me a ton of questions and basically just said make an appointment tomorrow like it wasn't an emergency or anything so i did that we're going to her doctor this afternoon um she looks really cute right now hold on but other than the little spot that i found um she hasn't had any other symptoms so i'm not super worried about it like I'm wondering if it's even from her. Maybe like when I was changing her, I, I don't know, like something got flicked in there or I don't know. It's just, it's really odd because she doesn't have anything else going on. I think you lost your wubs, baby. Would you like some help getting it back? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Thanks for leaving me that present. Do you got some more in you? Are you done pooping, girl? Is it safe to change your little bum? Oh my gosh, no! What in the world? Where is all this coming from? This looks like both of us might need to change. I love you. You love the little girl. Let's get you changed. Love you, little Bobby. So, even if the little one hadn't spit up all down her outfit, I still would have had to change her because of this, which I tried to clean up some already. But she blew out of her diaper, which is becoming a daily. Are those diapers no good? Mm, I know. It's these little guys here, the culprit. Not a fan of the Pampers, but <laughs> do you think that's funny? <laughs> but we got a ton with our um, from our baby shower, and so I'm trying to get through those before I move back to the Huggies, which I like so much better. I think they're softer and they fit better, and she doesn't blow out of them and. Oh, Bobby, do you have a question? Yes, Bobby. January. This is insane. It's been like this, like high 50s and 60s all week. And I think tomorrow the high is only like 34 or something crazy like that. So it's Kentucky weather for ya. 
I am going through Bobby's closet and getting rid of all of her newborn clothes. My big girl's gotten so big. I know, it's so sad. Also putting away her laundry, which I have not put away in at least two weeks. So yeah, accomplishments. Do you like almost look a little bit like me right now? Let's see, just a little bit similar, maybe? <laughs> or do you just look 100% like your daddy? I don't know, I don't think we look alike. <laughs> Waved all your fans. So, baby girl did not be careful like I asked, and boom. <laughs> so I just like to wear three outfits in a day. I get bored with just one. Baby girl, it's up to 10 pounds, five ounces. Yes, you are, sweet little thing. Just waiting on the doctor to come in and tell us what's going on with your butt blood. Oh, Bobby, it's so bright. Let me walk in front of you. There you go, big girl. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's better. So the uh, spot of blood was a piece of fuzz. So I only feel a little bit dumb, but at least we got it checked and we know that she's okay. She's up to 10 pounds and five ounces and otherwise perfectly healthy. I don't know why I said otherwise, she is perfectly healthy. I guess other than the fuzz in her diaper. <laughs> what you doing, cutie? Love you. Goodness. So yeah, after all that fuss, it was just a fuzz in her diaper. Um, I was a little embarrassed, but also I figure they probably get that kind of stuff a lot at the pediatrician's office. So what are you gonna do? Better safe than sorry. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, comment down below any like weird scares you've had with your kids. I'm interested to hear what other stories are out there. Make me feel a little bit less dumb. All right, bye.